you while you wait. Whoa, whoa. Now, baby, bring me down. Bum, bum. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> hi. Uh, um, sorry, I wasn't expecting you so soon. Um, hi, my name's Mike. Uh, welcome to Rococo Studio. <laughs> um, in this video, I'm going to talk about a very powerful tool called the Drift Fix Filter. Now, this is a post-animation playback filter, post-processing filter, whatever you want to call it. You're going to use this filter after you do your recording. But it's really important when you're doing a recording that you do certain things. So, what is drift? Drift is something that's very common in inertial suits. It's essentially the suit that I'm wearing, the Smart Suit Pro, it's not connected to the 3D world. There's no root animation. It's not anchored to the ground plane or something that's relative to my world. So what's going to happen is that it's going to drift a little bit. I'm going to start at point A and then I'm going to animate Animate, I'm animating, animating. And then I'm gonna come back to point A again, and I'm gonna drift a little bit. And that's okay, it's fine. That's why we've created this filter. So before you do a recording, try to put something on the ground. Maybe uh, a piece of tape, or uh, a shoe, or uh, a broom, or I don't know, a PA. I don't know, just put something on the ground. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start at point A, do your animation, and come exactly back to that spot and use the drift fix to filter to fix the drift. So let's do a quick recording. And before I record, I am going to calibrate. And what this does is it zeroes out all of our sensors and it also creates the origin of our animation. All right, great. So I've already put a piece of tape on the ground so that I know to come back to the exact same position. So let's do a recording. Now I'm gonna come back and see, I, as you can see, I'm in the same position, but my character kind of drifted a little forward. That's okay, we'll fix it. Don't worry about it, we got you. All right, now let's jump into the filters, Wee! All righty, everyone, so I'm back in Rococo Studio, I've opened up our take, and now our playback filters have been activated. And to look at all of our playback filters, it's gonna be in the bottom right corner, Another again, another little wand. And we have all of these playback filters. Now, we recorded this in Locomotion 2.0, and I can reprocess it into Locomotion Legacy or reprocess it into Treadmill if I wanted to. But we're gonna keep it in Locomotion. Um, I'm not going to do the actual cleanup in Locomotion 2.0, um, just because this, this video isn't about that. So if you have questions about that, we do have a tutorial that explains how, those, uh, how this filter works. Um, in general, when in your playback filters, you're really only going to be spending time cleaning up the locomotion. Everything else is pretty much you just activate. And also in general, it's always good to clean up your locomotion filter first. So helping with the floor contact and the weight of your character, it's, it's good to do that first. Then you can go in and you can activate the drift fix, the foot IK and the knee pop smoothing um, after that. So we're gonna talk about the drift fix. So Let's pretend that I've already cleaned everything up in locomotion, and then I'm going to activate the drift fix. So just activate it. And what's really great about this is I'm gonna come down to the, to the bottom right and I'm gonna have a little gizmo on this drift fix uh, row. I'm gonna activate it, and now we have our start and end position that we can see in the scene. And because when we recorded, I started at position A, and then I ended at position A, well, I'm going to make my end position and I'm gonna make it the same as my start position. So there's two ways to do it. You can actually click on the end position and you can actually drag it around, but that will, if I put it way over here, that's gonna look really, really weird. Um, so what I can do is I can just drop it right on top if I wanted to, or what I can do is go down to the, the, the row with the filter and click on filter settings, the little cog wheel, and there's actually the coordinates that you can actually just type in the coordinates and you just match the start position with the end position. And actually when I clicked and dragged it on, um, it actually 
they actually matched up, which is great. So I don't even have need to type it in. Then I'm going to process the change. And now we have no drift. Um, in this take, there was, there was a slight drift of me moving up the, the positive y, uh, Z axis. Um, but now we fixed that because when I captured the animation, again, I was I started at the same position that I ended. So as long as you do that, the drift fix filter is super easy to use. It's a really powerful, quick fix on dealing with drift uh, when dealing with the Smart Suit Pro. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video. Really appreciate it. Uh, comment on this video, like this video, share this video. Head over to rococo.com uh, and check out some of our other products. And you're always welcome to uh, email us at support at rococo.com as well. Thank you very much. Take care.